standing on the rock. Morocco, here we go. Moabite Mo, Grand Chi Cujo, let's flow. From the grave, no longer in the dead state Colonization claimed my consciousness, but now I'm awake Broke the chains of being ignorant, I stand on the truth Competent, in my proper person, rocking the booth Navigating through the waters in the leanable rights The seven seas, all I sent me, so I'm bringing the light Can't rewind the hands of time, so I'm expanding my space I'm from one human family, the human race My pedigree is in my blood, I'm forever or more Asiatic mobile body, and I'm ready for war She redeems when I speak, and she, I'm speaking to me Assisting and helping the uplifting Fallen humanity For the record On the record Neither negro or black A tribe that like My people suffering We only attack My people perish From true knowledge We so desperately lack So why in the hell Would I wanna go back No Progress. Crystals back from no stress With the fez or not, liberate the minds oppressed Staring at a wall in a hole, show you a ladder Which is not a thing you climb, but your seven chakras Ask Jacob, five up, assalamu alaikum Left foot first, so standing on the square, take em. The opposite of get out black holes into light So marvelous, you get scared from fright False and light, to men appears real, you just might Sit that trap, can't move, just paralyzed Paralysis that you only get if you sleep Your heights are so deep, the depth are so deep, intelligent hoodlums said the rest of the presidency, two shots for drink champs, Nori knows Drew Ali, you call him Yassin Bey most deaf, you think like the colonists, even though Nostradamus told you what your problem is. Myself and or Sister on the Eve is only here on the second Wednesday. So I miss you. Lots to discuss. I am also surprised to be up here again. I thought we were downstairs. I personally like the room downstairs. But we got to do whatever the management of this building says. So it doesn't matter what room we're in, does it? But today we're in what they call... The temple room. This is the temple room. So I just got to make sure that, ah, there it is. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. Um, I got to tell you all that I did a presentation about more than Christian powers. It was on, it was on Facebook. It was done at the Delaware, so it went over Facebook. Did anybody listen to that at all? All right. Because it was weird because some people on Facebook, you know, the people were like, oh, she's trying to teach us religion. Well, well, because I figured it out. And so I have a disclaimer because I'm going to present that through a projection 
you do tonight. But I'm going to constantly have a disclaimer. Why? It hit me. Because whenever anyone says anything such as Jesus, the Bible, the first thing we think is, or Christian, is religion. And especially the younger generation, they need to know because many people rebuke religion as they think it is and Christianity, which they should, ought, because it has nothing to do with you, right? They rebuke it, but they really don't know exactly why. But I've done some of my research. You can do your own. And I found out not exactly why they ought to, but my purpose for doing it was two, let's say two main things. One, for the younger generation so they can know exactly what it is they're rebuking and why. Not, not even rebuking. So let's stop the rebuke stuff. Once you have knowledge of something, you just accept it for what it is. And two, for the, for, uh, for the good moors that are in the church today. Because remember the father said some of my good moors are in the church? Mm-hmm. That might want to be coming out of that right now. You know a lot of them doing that, right? And then I get it right. It's not on that, right? You know a lot of them, but they question it at least. They can't step out of there into the Morris Barrett down without knowing why. That's dangerous. You want to cut it loose? Know what you cut it loose. Because I tell you, brothers and sisters, Christianity is a government. Their decree is a government. Oh, yeah, I can read the decree to you. It's not very long. But it is a government. And that is why the prophet said, hey, uh, that was for their salvation, not yours. Because they were slaves. How many people knew that those during the time before Christianity came into play in 325, Constantine brought it in, right? That's clear. You can look that up. How many knew that, how many knew that the Christians were being persecuted for even rising up and wanting to have a religion called Christianity? You did, Elder. You did, Elder. Oh, he's a couple of young. They did, too. You did some research, didn't you? All you got to do is check on, open up the book and make it out, right? It's amazing, isn't it? So here you sit with your knowledge and your operating your life, knowing the difference. If you ain't going down in those dead golden society, won't offend you. You know, to be registered, no, are you going to be indexed? You might give them a lawful notice. Now, let's speak about that lawful notice for a second. We are saying that, okay, lawful notice is lawful notice. It's already done, signed, sealed, and delivered. Here's a copy for your record. But I'm not going down there and you, and you make me say I'm a citizen of the United States of America and index me with a county clerk. Seal and stuff is a different. You understand? Now, I say that the time that we need to go down to the county, uh, I mean, if we, were, if we were going to do this as a lawful, that should be done by the droves of communities of those who already know who they are and are arguing over full crap. Then it has power. The way it is now, we're so divided in our concept, but not just our concept. In our intent, what is your intent and concept? So in other words, when I say in concept, you take a little of your information and you give it to someone who only thinks that government is the modern Europeans and they stuff, then they take that a little of your information and try to see how they can fit it into some European-style government. That's what ruins you. Because their style of government is futile. It's futile. Because you're the mothers and fathers of all of this. And if you didn't get that as a concept to walk on, then you're going to screw it all up. And when they see that you are, that we, as more as what's happening now, are screwing it all up, don't have it right, it's like, you know, you go to the um, carnival and there's like the ducks, and they got to shoot the sitting ducks. They can take that time until they get you. But they're going to get you. Because you are out of order. 
Not because you didn't follow your grand chief or your this or your that, because you don't know who you are and who your mothers and fathers are, for real, for real, and what your position on this ancestral American land is. You've got to know that. This is important stuff. So now what are you saying? Well, I don't know, you know. They're doing this and they're doing that. But you know what? When you have this knowledge, you can only be what you know. Believe me, things change right now. What are they doing? Trying to get their numbers up. They're trying to hit you on the chin, make you acquiesce, so they can get the numbers up to say that they got X amount of citizens slash members in the U dot S dot or whatever it is. They try, so you got the U dot S, which is a corporation, no diggity, no doubt. Then you got the U dot S A, which is also the same, which is a conglomeration of the union states. All of them try to get their numbers out on you, on the Lord. And even if she thought they wanted you to work a job and they don't want to give it to you or whatever, well, if they really need you to work, then it's your, it's, it's your position on what's going to come down, not theirs. And, and, and in unity in the community, because <laughs> status is your relationship to the community, the seat would be over. But no, instead of that, what do we do? Another thing, I've had a couple of people that things have happened to, uh, not just one, but two, maybe three this week with jobs. Right? They're hitting you in the chin. What do we tell people that they have to know how to do on the spot right away? Because most of them are agencies of the agencies that hire the people. Right? And so they're saying, we know them they're going to move on no jacks, so we're going to tell them anything. What they're going to say back is the key. That's the key. And when you start saying back what needs to be said back and doing back what needs to be done, it's over. And you're going to do it anyway because your spirit tells you you've got to do it. Because if you think that you ain't going to get that one, it's a better one in line when you do the right thing. You do what's right, and it'll come tomorrow better. Because everybody is being tested. Is that the right word, tested? Can I use another word? No, that's right. Is that the right word, Elder? Tested. Are you going to be who you say you are or not? Because you don't need to guess about who they are. You already know. What's more important is who they are not, not who they are, who they are not. They can pretend. But you got to be who you are. It's going to change. See, just testing to see where we are. One of the reasons is, and I just found this out on the way down, I had to look it up. And I'm smiling, but it ain't funny. I'm not smiling because I'm happy about it. I'm not smiling because I'm stupid, grand sheep. And I say that because it's real. Did a, what they call a tax fraud scam with the monetary thing and, the, you know, the endless what in the spirit of finances that you could get if you do the birth certificate crapola? Oh, uh, you know, there's an endless pit there. But these corporations are going out of business. They aren't using it. Wake up. So that's us, right? We, what are the problems there if I could just get you to? Thank you. You would. Oh, yeah. Don't let me forget that part. Yeah, so check it out. The reason I'm going to mention this because I have to. Because I have to. But these people came on our show a couple of years ago and told us that the prophet had created a municipality through the herd statute. Do you remember? I'm going to show you on the overhead. No, we didn't because a municipality is a Roman venue all day long. A municipality is a Roman venue all day long. Don't tell me he did that. I'm going to show you. A Roman venue, a municipality, is in fact a Roman venue. It also jives up with the church. Well, it's not the church, but the, the so-called religion you think you've got going on and know what it is. Because that's what? Uh, the Christian church, not to be confused with being Christ-like, Christian, clear, pure, where the sun cleans you. Don't get it confused now. Don't get it confused because that's not what it is. The first church was in where? Rome. Read chapter 46. He informed you of that. Hey, listen. It said, the first church was in Rome. It was established in Rome. Period. End of story. What's the discussion? You cannot be a Christian. Because it is a government decree 
and they have established their government and their religion, and that's when they came out of it, from being slaves. How many people knew that Christians were slaves? Oh, here, just you two. <laughs> and you two elders. And maybe you did, you read it, but you wasn't sure, but now you're clear, right? Yeah, I know. I, I can sense, I know, I know. So now, with that being said, and if they're original slaves, you didn't know they were the original slaves, you can't be that. That is not you. And it was established in 325 after the death, after domination. I understand why it's after domination now. After the death of Yahshua, or what they call Jesus, so therefore he had nothing to do with it. Right? Before conquest. Conquering. Yes. Oh, before Caesar. Look, my presentation, Caesar, is a, is a title, did y'all know? And Constantine, who established Christianity, his father gave him the title of Caesar, and it became a title. After domination. After domination and before um, Christian, Christianity. Right, right. That's what that, that, but, that is, but that is true, too. That is true, too. Because I'm going to show you, if you did the research, that they changed the calendar. They didn't even, they don't even not admit that. And then people talk about, why are you saying 1437? You know, um, GCY or GC for Gregorian calendar. Because they actually changed it to Julian. It really does all the same. Why are you doing that? Because um, go look at the treaty. For us to know that, 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 that we're on, what, what is the problem with us to believe that there's different calendars when there really is no time anyway, but that there's different calendars? Why can't we believe that? So we go to the document that's called the Treaty of Peace and Friendship as an example only, just as an example, and it says that it was signed in 1200, right? <laughs> on one side, and then in 1787, by the Christians. Hello, it's right there. Then you get Hillary Clinton, who gets up in 2000 and so says the first people to recognize us was Morocco, and that was in 1787. That's the treaty. But, yeah, you don't want to get it, give any validation to the fact that there was two different signatures, two different calendar times going on. And so then if your brethren, you know, such as, you know, whoever meet you or your neighbor or whatever, uses 1437 and then qualifies it by saying CCY. Or, I'm sorry, not 43. If they use 2117, they'll qualify it by saying CC. Well, I'll let you know that's the Christian calendar year, and I know that. But if they use 1437 and then put NCY, you want to, you know, rebuke them to hell because of your lack of knowledge of what you ta- of which we call it. So, my reason for doing the um, presentation was mainly for two reasons for all those good Christians in the church that I know are thinking about what the hell is going on and for the young generation so they can walk securely and knowing. And then when you do know, you get a different response from them. The fact is they know you don't know because if you didn't know they were the original slaves and that they got persecuted for even wanting to start Christianity, then you don't know what's up. If you don't know that every organization that you look at right now, establishment that you look at right now is a Christian establishment, then you don't know what's up. And we sit back, like I had said last night, well, why don't you have your Christian school, public school, all of this stuff is written, is under Christian, uh, and and if there's a 501C, all Christian. A 501C is a Christian corporation. That's why I was so offended when people tried to say that RV Day had a um, 501C. I was like, excuse you? Go find it, because it don't exist. It's just slender talk. And as we said last night, because the federal... Treasury gave us a Brad Street number because they paid for the out of their treasury. So they signed the Brad. They didn't even know it was there. So people think that that means you must be for it. It doesn't. So that's our lack of knowledge. So we aren't. 501C is a Christian corporation. You go in and you get LLCs, Christian corporation. Why are they coming down on you? Because you're under their but why are they taxing you? Because you said that you were under their thing, and therefore you must be taxed. That's why. 
And if you don't like it, they're going to change the rules in the next two years, and they're going to take a little bit more this year. And next year they're going to take a little bit more. And next year they're going to change the statutes a little bit and the policy a lot of it. And the next thing you know, you won't be having nothing in your pockets to turn out for them to take. And that's what they're going to do because that is what they do. Period. Period. I don't care what you think. That's what they do. Isn't it obvious by now? So, but let me just say this. There is someone, just hit, hit the thing. Let me just read, let me just brief it real quick while I'm waiting for, I don't know, we weren't expecting to be in this room, so uh, we're probably getting, uh, I can see they don't, they don't have it really prepared for us because there's no extension court, which means that, you know, usually it is, so we'll just do what we do and see what we can do until we have to do something else. Ah, uh, so check this, check it. So that I'm not just talking. Because y'all didn't know about me. Amazing thing. Although I really wanted it up on the board. Just let me show you something. Because let me tell you, these people who just got this sentencing are the same ones who broadcast with us telling us that, you know, the father had a municipality. And we were like, oh, did you say no, he didn't know them? You know that, right? Thank you, brother. It's so nice for you to be in our presence. Uh, he wasn't that stupid, that unmanageable. But yet the people searching for their nationality and birthright, and, and, and which they're born with, and wanting to claim it, declare it, I'm going to tell you right now, you can't claim that when you are clear because that's what declare me. And when you do it without being clear, then you get jacked up and people sell you stuff. And you think that you will go into a temple and it will all be good, but that's not true. Because I'm going to show you that they haven't been studying as they were supposed to either. It's clear. You know, after the solar eclipse, everything became clear. Just know this for a fact. Nothing that you think is bad is bad. Something good is coming for it. You have to get certain things out of the way for the something good. Okay, so didn't. Hold on. The, the link that actually works, I was reading it on the way up. One of my brother Cruz just sent me. But that one is not the one. Here we go. Let's see if I can get it here. I'm going to read it to you. Very short. That's what we got to be. Very short. We got to be short and to the point. We don't have to do, you know, we just got to state it. Don't give them too much because then they find ways to rope up. You know, sometimes when I said last night, sometimes you got links and they go around spreading it, and then they'll go and change the um, link location so you can't get it. Oh, but hold on. Part of it might be. Mm. <laughs> uh, no, I just realized that I am inside here. And um, my wife is not on for that. I didn't need it when I was in where I was. All right. So that might make the difference. Give me a second. If not, someone who has. Um... And I'm not saying that you go get down on anyone. I'm saying that look, we gotta we gotta come together as one people, man, and realize who we're dealing with, and stop looking for, you know, um, stuff. It really is is not the end. I, I mean, I, I do understand why. I do. I do. But it's really time for us to really unite in this thing right now. It really is. Because if not, you're going to get hit in the chin and you're going you're gonna to be down. You're going to be done. Uh, well, I do remember what I remember if it comes up. Um, the tax return stuff. The bottomless pit with the birth certificate, redemption, finances, and even if you did get called at reparations and if you did get the Federal Reserve note, you still didn't get paid. And if you got 200000 a minute, whatever it was, and you didn't build a school for the nation or something, then you were doing it for other reasons. And so they claim that. Is there anybody that can get on the Internet here? Yes? 
than you? You could try. Okay. Yeah, because I'm not attached for some reason. I haven't been here in a minute, and I don't know what what's going on with it. Uh, because I want to read it exact. I don't want to, you know, I don't say. Uh, but now the link is, you could copy this link or you could look at it or whatever, and then maybe you could read it for me. Um, so they said that the prophet had a deed. So now there's various people that say these different things. The prophet had a deed. Could the prophet have ever had a deed? Could y'all say that louder again? No. Thank you. A deed is a commercial instrument that indicates usage. So why would he have a deed? It would make no sense. It wouldn't make no sense. If you could just get to thinking you for yourself. So this group of so-called, you know, temple, whatever, they're telling you, yeah, we got the deed that the prophet got. Okay. All right. If you had knowledge, you would know that can't be right because a deed means usage. But then at the same time, they're going to go and say, this is what they did in this thing. And once again, <laughs> she's shaking her head because you get it, right? And so, and so, and then the other thing is, where did he get it from? The municipality? The county clerk? The city hall? Who, who gave it? Uh, matter of fact, where is it? Could you put a picture of it up there? Can we just see it so we know what it is we've asked them into? Can you do any of that? No, because it doesn't exist. Be careful. All right. You're online? Oh, wonderful. Um, I, I could do one of two things. Because y'all going to end up reading this, I guess, or being party to it. Uh, yes, this is going to be great stuff here. This is, oh, I'm sorry. I need to go back. I don't know if you want to retype all that. You can? Oh, uh, you're one of those people that can do that, huh? <laughs> I don't have patience for that. You got to send me the link. I'm I'm moving too fast. I do. I'm gonna change my uh I think I'm gonna change my sound so I need my sister to make sure that, that when I do, I'm good. Do we change sound? Hold on a minute. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna unplug this. Okay. Ah, oh, I'm good. I'm on this other plug thing, and I, I, I think it sounds better because it makes me free. Yeah. It's going to take her a second because, you know, it's all that long stuff. Uh, however, uh, you know, it's going to be worth it. It's going to be worth it. It's going to be worth it. So the first thing I said when I found out about it, I said, all right, because we know there's so much division in this uh, situation. I said, all right, is this person who has this temple that is the grand speaker of it, is he one of the ones that the oldest temple in Chicago? Oh, I should call that too, by the way. Okay. Uh, but all the ones in Chicago are going to say, oh, that's a renegade uh, guy. Renegade grand speaker. Y'all heard that, right? Hey, by the renegade, right? And so I'm like, will he say that? Meaning that it's one of the younger people, younger or more recent times where some people have gone and started temples, and I know they don't know enough about the prophet's work yet. They're just looking for some sort of position. I just thought was it one of them because, you know, I would almost say, you're right, because I tell people, you, and these days it's time they want to start a temple. You are the temple. The temple was started because of you and your baby. It's off of the body. It's my thing off of the body. It's the building, but the temple is you. So when the prophecy that people will return to the temple, that means you return to your temple and body and health and everything and knowledge. It doesn't mean the building. And so they took advantage of the lack of you not knowing that. And now you have all these different types of things going on, and some of them are extremely dangerous or colorable. What we need to just do as a family if we want to unite is know one thing and one thing first and foremost. We are but one family bearing one free natural pathway. How about that? That's it. Everything else that comes under it, we can fix, we can work out, but that's what we need to know. And that there is no building of mortar that makes you who you are by birth. And that comes from your birth, your mother and the blood thereof. Now, not believing that is believing what the what a Christian patriarchal society is about. They are not wrong for believing that they came from, for instance, 
the father. Well, the father is part of the family, but they really did because one of the more sons is one of the scientists they created them. And if you don't know that, then you get it twisted. So that's it. They're not lying, you guys. All right. All right. Let me just make sure my sound is good before I continue. <clears throat> uh, hold on, because I switched my 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 sound. Uh, da, da, da. Do you, would you like to begin reading that? Okay. But you have to stand up because you know who you learn in school. You got to stand up and let you come out to the people. Come on, baby. You can do it. <laughs> I think it'd be better for you to do it by the mic. Oh, there is a mic here. Hello. And it's working. All right. But I'm going to have myself here too because this goes over the air mic. Okay. Yeah. So. All right. Title. Yeah, you can read the title, and then I'll go. And there's only like one page. It's not that long, though. So you're going to just set the stage for it, and then I'm going to go back and show you where all this is is errant, but this is what you believe. So right here, that's the title. That's the title. It's self-described Moorish grand chief who led a sovereign citizen, Al Fodstein, seeking more than $100 million in tax refunds, has been sentenced to 68 months in federal prison. Marcel A. Walton, 47, of Chicago, received a Friday in U.S. District Court, where he earlier pleaded guilty to one count of mail fraud in the scheme that actually stole $2 million in bogus refunds from the U.S. Treasury. The case is one of the largest successful tax fraud prosecutions brought against the leader in the Moorish movement, an offshoot of the sovereign citizen mm-hmm. Movement, movement that primarily attracts African Americans. Hold on a moment. Are y'all taking notes or something mm-hmm. that you know that to be okay? Mental notes, okay. Take the paper, pass it back. The defendant identified a vernal, uh, sorry, excuse me, vulnerability in the IRS's tax, trust tax return processing system and orchestrated a massive tax scheme to exploit that vulnerability by filing numerous false returns. Court documents say. Seven of his followers previously were sentenced to relatively short prison terms. It also it is also net worthy that not while worthy, net worthy, noteworthy. I don't know why I want to say that. It's also okay. noteworthy that while the government is the direct victim of the crime, all citizens and residents of the United States ultimately suffer the consequences of his type of criminal conduct. Federal prosecutor, prosecutors said in a court filing. Walton headed the Moore Science Temple of America based in Chicago and worked for the city's parks department since 2004. He told his followers that if they became members of his temple, they could claim money pur- purportedly, purportedly owed to the Moors by the U.S. government. Walton claimed his Moors ancestors discovered America and that Moors prophet Noble Ali was given the deed to all lands making of North America court Documents say. Stop. A D is a commercial instrument that shows usage. I told you I didn't make that up. These people are saying that the prophet has a deed. Who would he have gotten it from? Why would he have a deed that shows usage when he said this is your estate? Mm-hmm. So these on an the estate can be bought, can be sold, can be transferred. This is the stuff that's coming out of the Maury science that was messing up the people, causing divisions and factions because they really believe the bull. Okay, go ahead. Further, he contended that modern day Moors, such as himself, were entitled to back pay, back pay tax refunds or reparations from the federal government for its use of Moors land. The next step, Walton said, entitled his followers to file retroactive tax returns seeking refunds as much as 900 thousand million, no, thousand. Where is, where is the number? Yeah, it's, it's, it's 900,000 each. Each stuff. Each one of them get nine. That's like a mail on all the Yeah. 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 We want to get some show. Now have some more schools and stuff now, right? You think so? Keep going. Okay. At work. least 17 of Walton's followers filed an estimated 50 returns seeking, seeking more than $15.4 million in refunds and obtained $3.3 million in refunds before federal investigators came and recovered $852,221, the court documents say. 
The government limited its loss calculation to instances where Walton's role was corroborated by interviews with his temple members. <laughs> Hold on. Temple members, they didn't know Jack anyway, because they, they following off to the, after the grave. She just don't know Jack, obvious, if he thinks that the prophet really had a deed, and that we're supposed to be doing taxes, and, or getting back to... She didn't know Jack nothing but some commercial stuff that has gone like a hot wave over the over the uh, 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 over the Morris community and and in all community, you know, with the bottomless pit stuff. And so instead of them picking up the constitution and enforcing that and when you're violated and all that, right? They're gonna go and pick up the commercial thing that says that there's a bottomless pit of finances that you can get. This is stupidity at its best. And I'm telling you, it's all good because after this particular solar eclipse, everything is showing up. Now, if you still don't know where, which way to go, that's going to be a problem for you. But it is what it is. I keep going. However, it is likely that this calculation underrepresents the harm intended to be caused by defendant as defendant can otherwise link through various public filings to individuals who filed fraudulent tax returns seeking refunds exceeding $100 million, the court documents say. For his assistance, Walton urged his followers to the temp. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Where are we? Where? Oh, to Tom. Oh, that's the worst part. Okay. What was she getting all this money all from right. him telling her what to do? But when they did it, she wants to be. Was it temp return? Temp return. Now that's where the fraud really is. Yeah. yeah. And people do it. Mm-hmm. It's a church time in the temple. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm going to read it. Instead of doing. Since yeah. Walton urged his followers to tie 10% of the tax returns they received to him, Walton also personally participated in the fraud scheme. 2010, the documents say he filed fraudulent IRS returns using the name Marshall Antonio Walton Trust. Okay, hold on. Uh-huh. Hold, 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 hold. His trust name, what is it again? Antonio Walton. Is there an ill or a bay on that? Wow. Is there an ill or a bay on that? That's what we did. You said that the modern European somebody owes the Moorish nation people finance for use of the land, right? That's what he said. That it's owed, did he not? But then he goes and went to trust and don't have an or bay on it. Something's wrong here. That, no, all that is fraud and they stole back. However, how about that? How about that? Yeah, yeah, you know, but there's no ill bay on it. But it's a child, and they should pay him to it because he's a lord without his title. Go ahead. No alibi. Nowhere. That's what I'm saying. Mixing the album with the earth is it ain't happening. If you is, it, you ain't. It's over. You either going to honor your mamas and your papas, or you're not. That's it, and that's all. And don't worry about it because your heirs are parent because the first blood is the 0360 from the Moabite, and everything else comes from it. All right? One mama's breath gave us all stuff. Okay. Uh, Marco Antonio walked in trust, seeking approximately 300000 for each of the years 2007 through 2009. And earlier 2011, the U.S. Department of Treasury issued a 310162 refund check to the Marco Antonio Walton Trust. And <laughs> but I don't say it will pay. Oh, I got to go back again. But it's every hour it will pay, but it's to the trust for these reasons. Lord, go ahead. And mailed it to the defendant's home address in Chicago. Oh, oh, not even a business front. You didn't have a business front and form. Okay. Over the course of the next several months, the defendant converted all of the money to his own personal use, the court documents say. Walton prayed upon. Hold on. Uh-huh. That's why I said, where's the school? The temple? The anything? For the nation, but yet you're telling me people you owe this because you're using my Moorish people's stuff, but you ain't sharing it with. I mean, I'm not saying it's right, but do you see the mindset? That ain't right. I'm not gonna get you for that. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Walton preyed upon his unsophisticated followers and their vulnerabilities in the same matter, manner that he preyed upon the United States and their and the vulnerabilities of the IRS's tax filing system, the documents say. <laughs> is that it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Not too long, is it? Get mm-hmm. right to the point, though, though. Mm-hmm. 
So can you just go back up to the front? Yeah. Right. First of all, what did you say? Well, yeah, okay. it's true, right there. You didn't even have a care of. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you care of. Um, somebody said sovereign, right? Uh-huh. See how they tied to the sovereign citizen movement, which is really Europeans with their sovereign citizen movement, because they're not the sovereigns. They found that out after they started their move. Uh, they started moving. They found out they ain't it. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. And then they went and said that. And then they say that we, Moors, are part of the sovereign citizen movement when we're not. And you've got to disclaim that. But you got some Moors that say that. And so they see the division, the clear division. And did you say African Americans or did it take No, them? they said African Americans. Okay. And so um okay, all right. Our sovereign citizen says so be clear with that. As soon as they say it, disclaim it. I don't care if you gotta say it, you gotta write it, disclaim it. Because that's what they wanna throw you into that barrel. What's the next one? Chicago, uh territory name or where? Where it says forty seven of Chicago, is that just the article? That's the article. That's the article. All of this is really kind of the article, but I know he said some stupid stuff if we got the transcript because there's some stupid stuff right here. You know what I mean? And the fact about taxes, like, it doesn't make any sense. You know what I mean? You don't have to pay the taxes. It's just like somebody trying, you know, it's, there's too many things wrong here. His whole premise is wrong. That's why I'm saying that your premise and your foundation must be firm or they will kick you. Because you're not standing, you're standing on shaky ground, and you're not standing on a firm foundation. That's the only way you ain't going to fall. Okay. Uh, that was so more sovereign, and then, but I already hit it. I wasn't going to, but I couldn't. I couldn't also like she was talking to. Let me see. Let me see what else. Could be on a little. The tax came right, 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 right. Oh, this is a beautiful one. This boy. Man, work for the city, 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 for the freaking city. That's the minute that's the wrong one right here. Or 2000 to 2004. But because the heart, yeah, mm-hmm. park the park. Yes. Okay. Let's go back to that. Those words that say that the prophet set up a, a municipality. <laughs> that's a rule is in you. That's what the city is. Let me explain to you all that they're doing with really some of this stuff and it tells you that this monetary stuff is not necessarily unlawful, right? But that's their, they found out how to work. They, you got to be a part of their family to do that. You can't come into the home and then do stuff and then say, here I am as a woman. That's the world and then you. That's their family stuff. Stay out of it. When are we going to understand that? Because as soon as we understand that, we can respect everybody, including them. Instead of letting them take our car and their car go in there, you know, membership. The, oh God, how many how many you got in your city? Oh, yeah, we got 20,000. Oh, yeah, there's more going in talking about the citizens of the city. What the hell is wrong with you? This is your ancestral state, North America. It's your state. That's the opportunity. So now everybody here, including them, has to follow the said national uh, constitution. That's the glory of it. That's the beauty of it. But they're not the nationals. You are. So be that. No, we want to go and be uh, a part of a Roman venue. With a, so I don't want to to you to, to desecrate if you ask me. The problem is talking about he set up a Roman venue, a uh, freaking municipality. When it is by definition Roman. He never did that, never said it. So this guy's working for him, and then he's going to go and try to tap and see, I'm going to tell you what this means, they really, you really do think your family with them. Well, if you understand what they are, the Christian government decree, the Christian decree is a government, then you would understand why you're not. And ain't a bad thing. Oh, what are we going to do? We're doing stuff. You're standing on your stuff. They're using it. If anybody has used it, it's them. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like stupid. It's like crazy. So now we're going to say that the problem is B, and it means you see. So this type of, here's the thing, this type of press is not good for all Morris. But you're going to have to waddle through it because it is the test. All of this dirty stuff is coming up. 
All of this wrong stuff is coming to be righted. And if you don't have to be in the position to be able to do that for yourself first, and then you want to rest your community. It's not that you got to battle this. It's that, you know, like, this is great because, like I said, what they're even doing is not really an unlawful thing. That's all they do anyway. But it doesn't mean that it's for you. You're not their family. They're not letting you in on that one because here's why. You don't have to. You did your business to it. That's why you don't have to. And so when they know you don't know what then they do this, and then people get, I don't know about this much. Look at this stuff here. Let's break it down and see what is wrong and why it's the wrong words, meaning it's the wrong words, meaning it's the wrong jurisdiction. That's all that it means. It's not complicated. You know? Uh, uh, and, and like we said before, you know, they said you dot S. You know, we, we got to know the difference between you dot S A, United States of America. All the same. Well, yeah, oh, uh, true, but United States of America, right. It, 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 then I'll say, you got that side, you don't know what the hell you got that side, they for what the hell that thing, yeah, that side, I just spelled the hell out. That means, you know, that's a grammar school, but today, they're not teaching our children anything grammatical, nothing, nothing that's really, really uh, 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 educational. And that's another problem. And we're going to work with it and say, well, I can teach them myself and they said, that's a Why are you teaching your children? The hell makes you think you're going to make one of them a little bit. They don't want to teach your children. Okay, teach period. You know, why don't you know what it is grammatically correct? Because ooh, so many generations will have been gone that we don't know. Because they're grown people today. They don't know. They're grown people today. They don't know. And we're just trying to hold on to the last bit of that because look at us. We're going to get people to start looking at us and calling us stupid. We're going to get people to start saying, if you don't know how to read or write, that's that. Don't ask you to know you don't. Get your back. And then start looking at us. Because we're going to get people to start looking at us. Because we're going to get people to start looking at us. Because we're going to get people to start looking at us. Because we're going to get people to start figuring it out. Because they're going to have to know. And you're the original teacher. So, you know, people tell me that, oh, don't feel so bad. They just don't know. No, they tell me, um, well, look, I feel bad. Because you know, I guess because my mom was a teacher. I don't know. I feel bad about, well, you know, you know, I've got a racist. They really don't know how to be comprehensive read, you know. And then I'm going to feel bad. And then, you know, I have other people who say to me, don't do that. If they can admit that they're miseducated, then they can get up off their butt and figure out how to get educated. Because if you can admit to that, then it's a problem. <laughs> and I don't have to accept that. I didn't want to, but I had to. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I had to. Mothers usually feel that way anyway, you know, because they want their children to know. But it's real talk. So let me see. I think I covered just about everything what when you said that earlier, but. Oh, uh, about the you know, that's it. I said that two or three times. I'm like, hell, uh, Walton claims his more dance than discovered America. And that more profit over drug was given the deed. Given the deed? Mom, who? Who gave him a deed? First of all, a deed is a commercial increment that means you to that number one. one. So when it, it, it's that word, the key to the door, who gave it? And since we're talking about a deed, can we see a picture of it? A page one of it. And he's something. It's bull. So it's incorrect knowledge. Um, given the deed to all the land, maybe of North America. That's what his court document says. And you wonder why when you come into those courts, be they whatever they are, whether they're real courts or not, they don't mess with you. You believe that too? So all I'm saying is that you have to be on your, we have to be on our game a lot more than what we've ever been now. You gotta tighten up your game. Wake up. As the prophet said, wake up and you sleep the other morning. This is all this is doing. It's not and it's a test saying now uh, you're gonna, you know, go hide. Because many people wanna go hide now and they don't wanna proclaim now. They don't wanna be who they are now because of dumb stuff like this. Well now. But the prophet already told you what to do about that. He said if you want to be the only one what? Is that to your movement. Because you can't. No one can change its step nature. No matter what's going on. So then what was the other thing? Um, let's see. Further, he pretended that modern more attention to himself and tried to back. Uh, reparations. If you get in federal reserve, no, that's not reparations. That you're not getting paid anyway. It's, it's really not. It's, it's fiat. It's false. It's not real money. So, you, so you ain't, you're not getting reparations anyway. 
and you ain't paying off, and it's a debt note. The Federal Reserve is a debt note. But the numbers are falling out. It is. It is. Uh, what you got? Rich Rush to tell They want to go back and say, hey, I paid taxes 20 years ago. You agreed to do that. But now you found out who they are, who you are not, and you still want. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to get into that too much because that's a whole thing. But still, you still aren't getting any, any reparations. And also, you know, I mean, well, uh, these businesses have a contract with the IRS to give you the W-4 to say that you will make a deduction or whatever. They're really contributions, so they're voluntary because they are contributions. But they, they got a contract when they go into business with the, whatever respect the state, and they agree that they're going to hand that to you. And if they don't, they will be fine for not handing it to you, which is why when you get a job, before you can get in there, the first thing they want to do is give you that form for you to fill out. Am I right? Am I right? Right. Because they get fine if they don't. So what you have to know to do is say, because they will ask me, and I can say, I can tell you what I know and what I experience and what I know and what I experience and what I know and what you know, you got to know. I mean, you got to know. So then you have to be as clever and wise as this, suffering and innocent as a dog. Execute it. Because you can't give them all your eggs in one basket. Yeah, think about it for a second. If you think these people right here are people who are trying to bring you down, then you've got to know they're not government, right? At least that. So what you're going to do, acquiesce to them or stand? So then what you would do is you would say, oh, no, I'm, um, you know, I don't, I don't. It's voluntary, and I don't know. A kid's not going to make this contribution. Now you got to know that it is voluntary because that thing's supposed to be posted within your job. You know that, right? First of all, they're not going to think that you know. That you do. Okay, so then they'll say, well, you know, they'll act like they don't know because they guess what, people? They, some of them really don't. Some of them don't. The front line people, they don't. And they will be jealous as hell with you coming in, and they might leak out. I can't believe she had a boy. She got to know about that. You know what I mean? And they believe you all the way home. You don't know. Or to be private. But it's not. You have to handle them in a certain manner. Because they eat emotion. They eat anger. They thrive on it. They want to know how you always going to get you upset. Because that's what, that's what they practice when you do it. You get that. And then I understand that's why the promise said keep, keep the circle around your back and, and square up your conduct. That's why. Got to hold it down. Got to have some big eyes on it. So anyway, on that, on um, discipline. That means you have to have been a discipline with someone, either your mama or somebody. You have to. That's what it is. And that's why it's so important that we get this. But anyway, um, so then you would say like um, uh, you know, no, I don't do that. And then they would say, well, I don't know. I need to with the money account and my account and said, Oh, yeah, yeah. The accountant said that, you know, they don't know anything about this. That's when you come back with, you know, all those uh, rig sites that are on the site? Well, actually, that, that can be put in an 8 and a half by 11 form. And with what the te- legislator said, just put it on a piece of paper. Maybe I should put it on a piece of paper. Just put it on a piece of paper and say, Really? Well, I could some research, you know, and here it is, and I'm sure they wouldn't want to violate law. Check that. Got to do it little by little, because if you give them everything in one basket, they will kill that basket, and you got nothing to come back with. That's what you have to do with them. Now, let me tell you why we do it otherwise, because we really believe, this is what we really believe when we come into this, when we, and I get it. Well, if this is really the law, then I'm just going to call it, I'm going to... Right? Am I right? <laughs> and, and you know what? That makes sense. But that's your first opinion. That you don't know who you're dealing with. You think they are someone that they are not. So once you know who they are, then that's when you learn how to deal with them in that manner correct to work for you. Because they're not who you think they are. So like say, for instance, when you, when you said, uh, like, 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 when you said, well, listen, I know. Well, you know, if you want me to, I can write a letter. It says that you see the author that I'm supposed to me because I know you can find if you don't. You think they think you're supposed to know that? That's one of their contracts. 
But the way you say it, it's real quick. Now they know they're not just dealing with your average sale. No. Okay. All right, anything else? I think we got it, right? Mm -hmm. I think we covered most of it. So, okay, I need to know that uh, his followers. Oh, all of a sudden, they're not calling it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not calling it more sensible of America with membership. They call it a follower thing, a cult thing, right? Filed estimated 50 returns seeking more than $16.4 million in refunds and obtained three, obtained, they actually got $3.3 million before the federal investigators detected the fraud scheme and they, the, the federal investigators recovered $852,221 of that. So we, this is just somebody reporting on what the court document said. We need to really get the transcript to say, uh, but, uh, you know, so there you go. See, because that's called greed. Go ahead, Z. Master, but the following me. Telling me that the property had to be with me young with the hell. You don't want to tell me the property created a municipality with this road and we just really don't know what you're talking about. Sit down, down. So, is that it? I think that's it. Y'all get that? Do y'all understand? Uh, what's the site? Do I have the uh over there yet? Oh, yes, I do. Oh, you looking for you looking for my wiki? Okay. There it is right here. Under here. I want to take y'all for a little ride here on a journey through a fact finding mission. I don't know which one it is. And do I have I have a mouse in here? Can you switch the mouse to? This is too low. I have to be back here. What mouse is it? What other mouse is there? This one's fine. But is this, this is the only place I can be? I can't be like right there? No? Way too far away. I'm behind the people. This is not going to work. I never do that. I can't be like over there and face there. Okay, thanks. That's where I'd like to be. That's at least a lot, a little better. Um, yeah, like right here. Even if I have to ask him to move over. Yeah, I can't be behind the people talking to you. No, 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 no. That's called talking behind my back. For real. But, um, yeah, so, so, so these are important things now. Um, there was something else. I thought there was something else. Um, I don't know. I, I think I covered uh, what I wanted to cover in that respect. Uh, is there anything else anyone else wanted to bring up while he's fixing that, while he's moving that over here for me? Um, can you come help and move this table, Blair? Thank you. Yeah. No, you don't have to move yet. But if you do, I'll tell you. You just have to move down, that's all. Because I just got to sit right there. I don't want to be on top. I mean, stand right there. I don't want to be on top of your knees. Um. Yeah, there's an electrical plug right here, dude. Right there. Uh, is there anything else, anyone? I'm trying to think if there's anything that's all the current events news. Uh huh. I don't remember what uh, territory it was, but there was an Italian man on the news saying that the government and the attorney general of that state was usurping people's property that were paying their mortgages even on time. Like they were oh, yeah, yeah, that's these. They were usurping the property, were touching the things without compensation or anything, mm -hmm. and also doing the same to cars, like property. Oh, I heard about that with the cars. Yeah, 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 yeah. But also doing it with houses as well. They yeah. With the yeah, yeah. So they're president. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, and that's another whole game to the game, too, because, you know, Sister Emma E., we miss her a lot, but she's working on a lo lovely presentation. I don't know. It might take two presentments. Uh, I don't know. We have to wait and find out. And, and basically, just a gloss over is Title 49. Y'all heard of Title 49, right? That's the Department of Transportation Program for, travel, for, for, for Drivers. Y'all heard of it, right? 
Okay, here's how they do, do us because of the lack of knowledge. We've been told a long time ago that we suffer for lack of knowledge, right? But so that, so as an example, as an example, that is, that is a federal program for those who are driving. That means you must be behind the wheel being compensated, correct? That's what driving means. When you're going to the grocery store or whatever, going to see your auntie or your cousins or your family, you are not driving. But they have taught you since high school that you have to have this instrument in order to go to see auntie, Emily, and whoever you're going with it. That's what they told you. And so mama and daddy believed it too and made you get that. And a permit means that you learn how to operate a conveyance, but it doesn't mean it has to be turned into a license. And it really means that, hey, you just learn how. Now, the Title USC program says this as an example, without getting too much into it. There's only two reasons in there that they can tow your car. One is if it's impeding the highway traffic, you know, movement of, right? And the second one is if it's clearly abandoned, right? And even upon that, they have to put a sticker on it for the first 20, for 24 hours or 40. Oh, you read it too, right? Is it 24 or 48 hours, something like that, on the car before they can tow it? Did you hear what I just said? If they tow your car and it's not for those two reasons, then the Department of Transportation Secretary has to compensate you for your car. I know we didn't know that. But we are not. We are not writing to them to tell them, are we? We're sitting here battling with the beast on this level, right? Because they know you don't know that. So when we bring up our education level and know that and know how to put it in a thing and, you know, write it down, record it, and send it, and they have to start giving that conversation for the policy enforcement from the Roman venues and whatever cities and municipalities taking your stuff, lying to you, making false reports to them that they got, again, how many drivers, just like they're trying to get you to be a citizen of the USA so they can say, look how many citizens we have, right? Even though we are to work together. Like, okay, and another thing, oh, all right. So, so did you, you, understand what, you understand what that is. So once you do that, then what will happen is the Federal Department of Transportation will have to stop allowing the state to participate in administering the program. Get it? But they're not because ain't nobody complaining. Because nobody knows. Because everybody thinks it's all good and okay. Impeding car traffic. What are they going to do to bring it back? Can I just rant? Rant the table? So what makes it bigger? Closer or further away? Bigger on there. Yeah. Okay. How well, come we never had this problem before when we did this? No, it's here. We never had this problem before. I don't know what the problem is, but we're going to fix it. Okay, what makes it bigger? That's not making it bigger. That's not making it bigger. Is it? Is it? Okay, just fix it on this wall right here. Because I'm all over the air, so my hesitation is to be put over the air as well. So we understand about the fact that what I just said, as an example, same thing with being citizens of something that you're not. Like, now, so that means, oh, yeah, we look at all these drivers we have. Look at all these citizens that keep sending us the finance from the Department of Transportation because we got all these drivers. Look at all the citations we had to get to them. That's the type of duping that has occurred to us. That's the type of you've been fooled and hoodwinked that has occurred with us. And that's what it changes for. Now, there's another person not too long ago. It should be wider this way. Oh, I'm looking at the box. Okay, you can close that out. I don't want people necessarily reading all my stuff. What I title stuff, please. Just to just bring up the more than Christian thing. <laughs> but no, it's too short. It's like right here and here. I want it to be like that. You know, like that on the wall. I just don't remember us ever having this situation. Yeah, it would come on. Oh, it is. 
Oh, it is over there. Oh, all right. I got you. Now, okay. All right. We're going to have to bring it closer now because it's too, too big because it's on. Ah, there you go. Um, so I have someone print it. They sent me a picture of the Great Seal. It was the Great Seal of the United States of America. It clearly said it on it. And they trying to say, well, that's the Great Seal. No, that's the reverse of the Great Seal. So they operate on that ground. They, you know, like this is how our people think. This is how our people think and, and, and correctly. So they won't honor the Great Seal. The reason why they don't see the Great Seal, you know, the pyramid, which is the obverse of that, is because nobody's operating with it. Nobody is, you know, you know, they're not, and, and who they're dealing with, their great seal is that. They're, that's the other side. But the great seal is the great seal. It's a symbol of civilization. All right, bring it in closer then because it's too wide. So, so that's what's up. You know, it's been a long time since I've been here, but I have never recalled having a problem doing this same thing right here. So you said bringing it in closer makes it smaller. Oh, right. Look at you. I'm a Libra, so everything has to be balanced for me. Which one is this? This one? All right. Let's do this thing. So what I want to do is first explain. Well, nope, wait a minute. Can you lift it up so there's no crooked? Oh, put the water on front of it. I don't know. I have no idea. I really don't. Uh, like that. That's Can that go up to you guys? Okay, whatever makes this happen. I put the lever balance on it. Whatever makes this happen, I'm just holding my hand. Put something. Put that right there. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Does that work? That's that's like this. So that needs something else. Oh, there it is. How, well, yeah, there you go. We're creative. You know we all creative people, right? Okay, so just whatever makes that happen. You gotta look at the wall to see that it's straight. You know what I mean? That's good, right? Huh? There I know, right? But okay, Dave, you see it's just sliding for me, right? You see this? Look at the wall. That's perfect. Now look at what I got in my hand. How does that happen? What makes that happen? Sure. Okay, that would do it, but then you need something over on this side. Thank you. Every little bit helps. Thank you. Now put that there. Okay, it's fall. It fell back. Can you just make it so it doesn't fall back? And then this is my. This is what I'm working with. And do I have a pointer? Do I have a pointer? You got a point? No, that's not right. That's not gonna work. Thank you, son. <laughs> Oh, man, how's that, everybody? That look good? Yeah. Thank goodness. Woo. All right. So what I'm going to do to clear up the matter is that I've been waiting for, and I can't believe the glasses that I have on are not the ones for long distance. Hey, damn it. Okay, is this the one? Is it on here? Yeah. Where is it? And, uh... Exactly. So where is it? I'm not going to sit down, but thank you. There it is. Living Christian's presentation. Ah! Okay. This? All right. I down. All right. Open with. Open with. Where is that at? I don't see open with. There's no open with. Yes. Dr. Uva. Ja Isa? Who's that? Okay, well, first of all, reparations means repair a nation, essentially. So it's like this, is this guy we just read? He's giving the reparations because it's owed to the Moorish nation, but it's coming to him through his bank account. Uh, oh, right. Something's wrong with that. Yeah. 
The other thing is, if reparations, he's getting it like in dollars, right? Money, right? What they call money? That's not reparations because that's not real money. So he does not know how to get them. Federal Reserve notes or, or debt notes, they are just a medium. They are not, you're not getting paid. Well, but see, they don't own the land. We already have the land. This is the glory of it all. All we have to do is declare who we are and stop being who we are. And knowing that, you know, you, the difference between you and the man says so straight. So if they know how to get it and they get money, right? What you call money, right? What you have called money, right? They ain't got nothing. <laughs> because during the Constitution, what? Not real money. Because it's not real money. They real money is... 1930, what, three? Yeah. All the money in exactly. There's no real money, so they're not getting anything. That's why they reel them in, reel them in, reel them in, and then they slam them. Ooh. <laughs> and they just keep getting reeled in and keep getting slammed. And you just keep looking for, you know, uh, 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 security for yourself and your babies, don't you? Don't you mind? I know you do. That ain't it. Okay, so the first thing that I want to say to you is more than Christian powers, first navigators and patriarchs. I'm not going to go through this whole presentation as I did on Facebook because we wanted to get it recorded here, but the reason is is that this is a few things I'm going to hit because I found out that when I was giving this information, people actually thought I was trying to teach them Christianity. Yes, they were all just trying to turn this into Christian. No, I'm trying to show you what it is and it's not so you can walk securely about it because let me tell you this much. I will tell you, sis, even though they may not know certain particular things, one damn thing they do know is that they are a Christian government. And government means family. And you cannot be that with them. And you've been duped to think that you can, and I'm getting ready to show you how. Well, why not? That's all. I'm not trying to. And then another thing. We have ancient writings that they took and put in the Bible and in in what they established as the Bible. And so we want to throw away the ancient writings from our ancestors because we think it's religion just because they used it. So when you start, like when I start reading something from that, like Thessalonians 2, y'all can call me Sassy 2, that's my new attribute. I'm down with Thessalonians 2. I'm down, down. I'm going to show you why. But if I read it, they think I'm being religious. No, that's it. it that's that. I'm going to show you an example of that writing as an example that writing. Somebody was sitting there writing and talking. It's like us talking to each other right now when we have build sessions. Somebody wrote down what was said. Huh? Scribes. That's all that happened for these people who were slaves who fought like hell to have religious freedom. They put your ancestors, it was inspired by Yahshua, by the way, your ancestors. It was inspired by hell by Because he was about to piece them up. Put your ancestors writing in a book. And I was like, yeah, you're reading because, you know, you read it. We are really suffering for lack of knowledge. And so I realized that they did a good job of keeping you far away from what Christianity really is, which is government, a government decree, so that you would never question anything. Right? Because when you did, find that it's all true. It was slaves fighting for religious freedom. But then they don't want you to have the same thing for a religious, to have religious freedom. You see what I'm saying? That's what they don't want you to find that out. So I'm not trying to turn nobody into no people. But because we think that way about Christianity and religion that we don't really know, and we believe that. So. I'm going to do a disclaimer every now and then. I ain't up here trying to teach. I ain't up here in no Christian church. But I am in a church right now because a circle of people is what a church says. More than Christian power, first thing you need to know is this. I know Brother Ali, he would like to read that. He says it all the time. Truth does not change, nor does it pass away. And it needs no apology. That's my first disclaimer. Okay. Second is truth and falsehood is strength. We met. Please be aware. All right. 
his word, they probably said, oh, you see, so good, oh, church. No, but everybody knows first that was the word, the word was with God, the word is God. A man doesn't live by word alone, but by everything that proceeded from his mouth. I sound like I'm in church right now, don't I? But that shit is real fact. Because your word, what you say, word means your word is jurisdiction. Jurisdiction is right word. So they have made it so that we would stray away from varying or getting involved in anything like that, okay, or this close. So what does you and I mean? You and I mean one, and verse means word. So this universe means one word. We all have the same word. I'm telling you, more if you need to get it together, no division. So now, jurist means right. Oh, I did that already. Uh, jurist, no, let's finish. Jurist means right and diction means word. So what are we talking about? Right word. So back to first, that was the word, the word, all right. Got it? So we have to have it. Now, secondly, I'm going to roll through this. I'm going to first show you what religion really is or let you figure it out so that you will know what we're talking, but it is not. There is only one quote-unquote God, and that is nature's God. Please remember this, y'all. Nature's law or universal principles creating principalities of law and order. Principalities are not to be confused with municipalities. Governing or the department, that's what they say God is, right? While governing of the mental is based on one's independent thinking mind, government establishments, institutions uh, uh, are not to be confused with authority over one's free thinking mind. Or a consciousness, sovereign capacity doesn't mean what, you know, sovereign citizen movement. Um, as that is an unalienable, inalienable right of birth and being. Any government establishment then? receives authority, if, if any, from who? The government, the people. Got it? Religion. Religion means realigned or realigned to bind back to those, what? Universal principles that govern all things. Divine law governs all events, and the unseen creates the seen, as above, what? So below. Y'all follow me? Y'all say it, y'all say it with me, because y'all know, right? All right. The seed of all things may manifest, it's thought. Thought is unseen sound of sound. Tapped into by mediation or meditation. Therefore, you create change and govern your own reality. Are you following me? All right. Allah. All law. You and I are souls, quotes, and spirits manifested from thought into the flesh consisting of what? Your own head. That's Allah. Not no spirit being somebody you should believe in or not. Right? Are y'all following me so far? I gotta give you this because this is the foundation in order to receive the rest. If you don't have this foundation, you can't receive the rest. You all messed up. We are, ain't got some background. All right, good and evil. Hey, we all have within us an admixture of good and evil: the right, to the, the right, the left, the up, the down, the ebb, the flow, the yin, the yang, the positive, negative, and the need to visit upon resolution. Mm-hmm. Okay, this admixture is known as the higher self and the lower self. Got it? Two selves. We call the lower self the devil as its characteristics consist of all things that breed hatred, slander, lewdness, murder, theft, and everything that harm. Got it? So don't tell me you can't recognize the lower self in yourself or anyone else if it has those characteristics. That's the lower self. Period. What is the higher self? It's the mother of the virtues and harmonies of life. And it breeds what? Justice, mercy, love, and right. So don't act like you can't recognize the higher self and don't be trying to look the higher self either. And yourself out in others. Law. What is law? The length, the angle, the width. Of what? Of the angles of light or angels, inclusive of the darker dimmed angles, inferior Jemai light, called demons or Jemai God. You follow that? All right. Synopsis, angels and demons. Higher self and lower self. That's it, that's all. That's all there is. You must master your higher self. And lower self. Got it? That's that's it. First you got it, you gotta hire the lower self. If you can't do that, ain't nothing going down. Where baby? Where? Say that again? No, I'm saying the light, angles of light or angels, inclusive of the darker dimmed angels or dimmer angels. Dimmer angles, I'm sorry. Where? Well, no, angles and angels are the same thing. 
Okay, let me read it again. Let me read it again. Man, the, uh, less than the angle and the width of the angles of light or angels. Angles of light are angels. That's what people call an angel. So what we're saying is if angels are angles of light, you got some dim light and some bright light and some dimmer light. Okay? And that's why it's called dim eye light or dim eye gods or demons. Let's not get scared. They just less a light. All right? So synopsis so angels do. So you must master your higher and lower self. Are we good so far, everyone? Great. Uh oh, that takes you to Islam. I said you must master your higher and lower self. What does that mean? I mean, I can well master. That's what it means. That's it. That's all. It's not that. that that's not crazy like that. So it is first I self law and master, which is mother. And the first school room is the room. It is the kindergarten and the foundation for the building of the bodies of the nation. Da da. So it's I self law and master. And then it's I self law am master of self. So now, why were religious religions established? Anybody give me an answer? Anybody know why religions were established? All right, what you say, sis? Oh, established to create control of the masses. Okay, this is great. What else? Anybody else have to, to suppress the people? <laughs> Anybody else? Yes, sir. To stagnate knowledge. To control knowledge. Mind control. Mind control. What was that? To separate people. Is that it? Huh? Oh, I got it. Go. Just concentrate people's minds for their own agendas. Uh, to give, give, break up, and make divisions and denominations. Yes, sir. How you doing? Hold on. Did you have your hand up? To give what? I'm sorry. I can't hear the. No, I don't feel the uncivilized. That's good. That's close to civilized. Yes. Yeah. You believe in yourself. To take away from you believing in yourself. What else? Anyone else? Why religions were done? That's enough, right? <laughs> huh? <laughs> well, okay. We just asked the question why do we establish? Because if you study, okay, so, so, why were religions established? Here's why. They were instituted to teach you of your lower self and your higher self and your infirmities and remind you of your weakness so you can develop to become master of yourself and God or of others. That's why. All these answers y'all gave, yeah, that's what they told y'all to, to, to see. That might be true in some respect, but that's not why. It's so that you can learn of your higher self and your lower self and you can master your infirmities and your weaknesses. That's why. Yes. Yes, because I put earlier, you know, religion is to realign, find back, and stuff like that. So, yes, that's true. But you see how we got these answers, which are not exactly wrong answers, but you see where our minds are because of the thinking. It's something you need to worry about your daggone self. And this is, take, if you're looking for your Savior, what do you find to tell you? Where is it? It's in. If you're looking for your devil, where is it? What it is, so religions were designed really established for you, for you to uh, to take you of your lower self in your eyes, of your really of your lower self, of your infirmities, and remind you of your weaknesses, so you can develop to become master self and God of us. That is, that just makes your idea of religion uh, uh, of infirmity. That's right in the circle seven, by the way. So that's how I know. You know, I don't read, you know, none of us remember everything, but it comes to us as necessary to do, to be. So anyway, you can find your lower self tendencies in your astrologic birth chart. There are aspects that indicate the universal energies bestowed upon you at your conception and birth and guides the manner in which you will find resolution throughout your life. That's your first business. Reflect upon it as man's business is what? About what? Reflection. That's a statement, too, that the prophet put. Okay. 
So now we go to the holy day. Man was formed in the flesh on Friday, the sixth day, Genesis 1. Man departed from the flesh on Friday. Man was formed in the womb and departed from the womb on Friday. That's all it means. Friday is the Easter star. Venus or Venus is also called Freya Mayat. Libra is the star day Easter uh, um, Esther mother, right? And now I said Genesis 1. I didn't say Genesis 2. Genesis 2 is where... Adam and Eve is. That is not you. That is the man. That is that is uh, what was made by you. And you go into these churches talk about your descendants of Adam and Eve, and you're an absolute error. Because Genesis one tells you that it was manifested. You were manifested in the flesh. So how you going to be uh, manifested in Genesis two? And Genesis one tells you, oh come on now, see that's another. Let me get to thinking. You're a problem. Let me get to thinking. We might need some more chairs. Can we get some more chairs? Um, uh, uh, Liz. All right. You might, you might get help. Yeah. They might be back here. Yeah. They're back here. Um, so hold on. That made sense to you, didn't it? Yes. Ma'am, I love it. We got to get the thinking. So see, we ch- that's why I'm doing it. We just got to get the thinking. You can't be mad if that's in Genesis 1 and in Genesis 2. What the heaven is about to be something else we manifested in Genesis 2. Right, Dave? Oh, yeah. We got it done. And we proved it. Just me saying that right alone makes it better, doesn't it? Makes sense, doesn't it? So let's move it on. Let's move on. So that's what's up with that. All right. So with that, we know that the original symbol and sign was the Ankh. I just want to get through this. Y'all know that, right? All right, and so, you know, you could look at that movie called, um, what's that movie? No. Sleepy Hollow. And when they were pulling out the the, the doctor, they, they pulled out the aunt out of his pocket. All right, so we know, we know, you know, some of the womb of Venus as the sunrise and sunset, Venus was Libra related to earthly experience and balance of unions and to sun cycle which sets daily and falls at the equinox on its seasonal yearly traverse. So, you know, we understand. Uh-oh, I forgot about this. I'm looking at this. We understand, you know, verse now for the into this womb. Look at that. Do you see the symbol? Sunrise, sunset. Sunrising, this is the Libra sign. And this is the fall equinox, but it represents it falls every day, really. But then at fall, which we're in now, you know, it falls in its travel, not to be bumped again when Aries comes. So the sun set in Delhi, the fall equinox, where the sun falls into in its cycle until exalted at spring equinox, which is Aries, and Aries is the 180 polarity of Libra. So I'm just trying to show the symbol. Oops, I was supposed to do a astrology wheel without the swastika, but that would be, mm, let me see, and then one with the swastika, and I forgot to put it in there because everybody talks about the swastika and thinks that, it, you know, it's just, you know, uh, it's like, say, it, it's got a line. It shows the direction of the sun. I'll do that another time. Y'all, I'll, we can get that. All right, so I'm at a point right here to go to the next phase. What I have shared with you are matriarchal principles of nature from whence the first navigators of this earth plane came forth from, navigating first upon the seven stages, yeah, as you know, development of waters of the womb. When the water swells, the child is ground and delivered, birth, born, to become navigating elves on the earth, over the land, the air, and mooring the sea with the bays enforcing and keeping safe the sacredness of wisdom, period. Now, with that, I do want to add the sun's rays of photon light, the light of light. The sun, then, is the giver and the taker of life on this planet. These rays energize the food and vegetation that grow out of the fertile ground. It's called photosynthesis. Come to find out the children are learning photosynthesis. That's something we learned in our belief fourth grade. This is this is a travesty. <clears throat> and filters the energies from other planet, planets like a prism. Thus the sparking sun is likened to the sperm that sparks the egg in the fertile womb. It is the exulting of the sun's rays that ram the earth and brings about spring, aries the ram or hiram, and causes that which has been dormant underneath the earth's soil to spring forth with new growth, the new year, the vernal or spring equinox, celebrated at Easter. Please put a pin in Easter, okay? Easter. Just keep it in the back of your mind. 
all right, one minute. Um, it's celebrated as Easter, which is quote, because it's really the new year, but they say it's Easter. You gotta understand the correlation. All right. The Christ the Son of Christ rays are crystal clear, pure, Christ so Christo, and it's where we get the term Christ like. As well, the world the word Krishna derives from Satan. Living in this solar system requires us to be equipped to absorb and sustain the Christ ray or crystal pure, crystal clear, pure, clean rays of the sun, often referred to as pure truth. Thus, a hint towards the keys to one's own origins, whereabouts, and keys to ascent and defense. Terminology concept. The sun is referred to as son of man or son of man, whether it's son, S-U-N or S-O-N. Sometimes referred to as the Son of God as well. The terminology of God ought be understood from the time period in which it is derived. God has been translated to to mean the Creator when it is actually a title. The terminology of God is only five to seven hundred years old. It is a Germanic Middle English word. Thus, we could not be descendants of ancient gods because the word God is not ancient. Check. You, do you get it? This is what you have to have to go into the studies that we're getting ready to go into, right? Because y'all already looked it up. Okay. Yes. 12th century. Yes, AD. Right. Well, yes. Yes. I'm going to sit right. Exactly. So now, continuing with terminology concepts, we can say on the surface plane that the reference to God is that whom is your creator and has endowed you with unalienable rights of earth. We logically know that would be your mom. But when we speak of a neophyte, we are talking about one who is new, considered his master, as in master teacher. We know that master and mother may actually comes out of mother and, and, and et cetera. So if we are talking about a child, we can safely say that his teacher is his or her mother. Period. And he is a disciplined a disciple being disciplined until he or she becomes a master of self. So we get it. All right. I realize this goes against what one thinks God is. However, it is what it is. God is a doing, derived from the action of God being or doing good, invoking and pouring out. This is also where the usage of gods and goddesses comes from. Statutes were erected anciently and were idolized as gods, or those doing good, doing God deeds. And they were of women. That's what the deities are. All right. Thus, but that's not what this is about. So people get very upset. Thus, the fall of the great angel is she. She invokes and pours out, and that is how you got here in the flat. Got that? We good? Move on. Christians utilize. This is preparation for the information you get ready to get. Christians utilize only 66 books of thousands of ancestral writings of your ancestors to formulate their religion called Christianity and their Bible based in this concept or patriarchal concept, thus they created male deities, right? We followed, and many still follow, the theory of a newly formed Christian religion from people who were slaves seeking in their own admission to understand the what? Nature of God. Keep in mind that they were trying to understand the nature of God. Right? The nature? So nature showing them right now what nature is. Okay. They were inspired by Yahshua, Jesus, or justice, who was a universal in ending slavery amongst man and mankind. And he said, your suffering is from lack of knowledge and from rejecting knowledge. Move on. We fall far away from knowledge as we idolize and stray after strange gods of Europe of which we know nothing about. They erect and fall off images, substitutes, and the guards. In our fallen state, we operate without conscience. That means without science. Because con, because con, yes, con and science is content. Without common sense and go against common law or rather divine law slash all law. Your adoption, adaption of their religion established for their salvation brings misconceptions of yourself today. Today, they use their religion to put fear in you and control. Some of you gave that answer. So they're right, but that's not what religion is or established for, but that's what they've done and taught you. And there it is. 
They use their religion to put fear in you and control you, keeping you in a mental slavery, which breeds physical slavery, as were they in physical slavery. Mental slavery breeds physical. You can't be, you can't be, you can't be mentally enslaved and not physically enslaved. All right? But you can be, and, and, and if you're mentally free, you're also physically free. It's true. We'll show you. This is an example of truth and falsehood that's being strangely mixed, all right? So we are seeking wisdom, are we not? Yes. It is wisdom, which is Sophia, that's the other word. It's also Pisces. We seek. Wisdom is obtained by the application of knowledge, and in this earthly experience, Sophia is hidden in the waters of the womb, not the artificial womb. I'm looking at the artificial womb. You didn't come from the artificial womb. You came from your mother's womb. On the astrology wheel, Pisces symbolizes the womb. The waters are poured by Aquarius. What is the knowledge? Right? The water bearer, as water symbolizes knowledge, referred to as the baptismal waters. When the waters of the womb fill in Pisces and swell the womb with knowledge, the new birth child shall come forth in what Aries symbolized as the lamb. So the lamb and the lion laying down is your children, our children, our posterity forever, evermore symbolized as such. All right? So wisdom speaks to you in chapter 1 of the Circle 7 Quran entitled The Creation and Fall of Man. When you get a chance, go read it. So that's where, she, that's where it speaks. What then is the patriarch? And who then are the patriarchs? Did I just show you nature? Did I just show you nature? Did I just show you religion, Islam, all that? Did it make sense? Was it clear? Does it mean you have to join some membership or become something that you already are, that you're not, but you already are? So with that being the foundation, let's go into this thing. Yes, what did you say, brother? Did, oh, that's one. I know they are. That's right. That's why I'm asking the people who may not know. I I just showed you all this. I'm asking you, if you see what that is, that's nature and nature, then ask yourself, who the hell are the patriarchs? I mean, it's just common sense, right? So, the answer becomes found in religious controversy. It's already written. Have you read it? It's a writing that is in the um, uh, moist literature. Anybody read it? Uh, okay, in this age, there is still much controversy as to the right thing. Big and powerful ministers have come to the conclusion that something is wrong. Some say it's the Ten Commandments. Others say there's a lack of sincerity in the purpose of the churches. Still others think it is all worthless and not fit for the time it takes to attend. However, whatever their final decision might be, it is certain that they will make a change or rather try to make one. They're going to try. But the fact of the matter is that they have always had only a reflection of truth and not the real thing, like one who holds up to the sun a mirror and casts a few of its diverted rays in a different direction. So what have they done with the truth that it's supposed to have come from the east? What do you know that comes from the east? The sun, right? Okay. There are but few people who know what the truth is about man, and that few know that it is foolish to try to apply it to the ignorant. Although the ignorant has finished college, he is a fool right on, being trained to jump through a hoop. The longer he stays in the schools, the better he can jump, and the more vivid will he defend his jumping. Oh, by the way, this reminds me, somebody told me on a message that they thought, I realized that it had to be a disgruntled European that was on this text message because it couldn't have been, I don't know, could have been a real mother, even if he was unconscious, but it was just too absurd that uh, they said that I tell people not to go to college. Not to go to school. I didn't say that. I said that we need to have our own school. That's what I said. And I ain't the only one that said that crap. I mean, uh, I, I, I shouldn't say crap, but I was going to say a bad word, so I think it's crap. I'm not the only one that said that. If I can know what you are, said it's every day on temple that exists, you need your own school. So what's up with that? How did you get out of we need our own schools? I'm telling people not to go to school. Where did it say? So that doesn't make the sense. And, 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 and also, the prophet said you get a good European education. That's because he knew that if you really got went to do some studies, you find out that their education is yours, that you gave them. That's why he told you to go after it, not after the, not the other way around. You see, he pointed to that. So, so, <laughs> I just noticed someone. 
Uh, yeah, I know he had to change it. So anyway, so he pointed to there. So I, I just wanted to make that clear. And they also said that I said don't get jobs. I, I, I never said that. I never, I never, I never said that. Uh, don't go get jobs. Me because more not to work. I, I, I never said that. I, I don't know what to. So that's when I realized the person that I can't see that's on this text scene is obviously an unseen demon. And it sounds like a disgruntled your modern European. Disgruntled, because that's good European, but this sounds like a disgruntled one. Okay. So let me finish. And so then it says, um, uh, from the east comes all light, but though the sun is shining at high noon, the blind can't see. The same as the Islamic creed from the east was brought to the Asians of America by the prophet over early, and all to those who were sick at heart. Five so many years, yet they are blind and cannot see the light. Nor is the prophet trying to put new wine in old skin, for he knows it will burst them. Still, he has the only remedy for the nations, the remedy brought by Jesus, by Muhammad, by Confucius, and all of the other prophets, which remedy is true. So is there anything that, you know, like uh, separatism in, in this? It's like, look, all the prophets, it's universal, right? All except for that patriarchal Christianity that you think is a religion, but it's not. It's funny, isn't it? How does that not fit in? It's the only thing that don't fit in. Hello? It's the only thing that doesn't fit in. Correct? All right, get to thinking. Get to thinking. All right, so now, um, uh, still he, uh, uh, da, 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 he has the remedy, okay, that was brought by Confucius, uh, Jesus, Muhammad, and all the other prophets. Which is true. Listen to the religious contrary. The nations do not want the truth. It is just to serve them. But until they accept it and find out where it is, there will be, there will continue to be religious controversy. So let's look at this establishment of the Christian church that seems to be the only thing outside of the universal prophets and stuff and information. Let's see. How many knew? Only you. I ask this question all the time. That they were slaves and established Christianity for their salvation, fighting for religious freedom. I talked to people who were in Christian church and they didn't know that. But it's already written. It's already, it's not hidden. It's the record. That's why they didn't want you to know. So you could find out the truth about who they really are. Amazing. And what they did, what? Uh, you, you're talking about the persecution? Huh? Oh, yeah, well, yeah. I didn't even get, you, you could expand on that one. I, somebody needs to expand on it. Establishment of the Christian church, first and foremost, Constantine is the father of Christianity. That is the what? Truth. Not Jesus. Not Yahshua. Constantine. Fact. Look it up. Look up Constantine, and they will tell you he's the father of Christianity. The other thing is, how could he be Jesus if it happened in 325? After he was there, gone. He was inspired. He inspired them, but he didn't do that. Because nowhere in the Bible do you see them calling him, even in the Bible, see them calling him uh, a Christian. Matter of fact, they called him a rabbi. Rabbi is not a Christian God. Alrighty then. So it says here in the encyclopedia, Constantine was head of the first people, first people, first people to claim conversion, conversion to Christianity and establish their first Nicene Council in 325 A.D. Constantine's father became Caesar, or a Caesar, and Caesar is a Christian title. So name your children Caesar. Christian history and sociology. From the perspectives of history and sociology, the Christian community has been related to the world in diverse and even paradoxical ways. This is reflected not only in changes in this relationship over time, but also in simultaneously expressed alternatives ranging from withdrawal from and rejection of the world to theocratic triumphalism. For example, nearly uh, early Christians so consistently rejected imperial deities, that's the more, that they were known as what? Atheists. Did you know they were known as atheists? That they were known as 
uh, uh, atheists, while later Christians so embraced European monarchies that they were known as reactionary theists. Franciscans especially the central Franciscans. How many people knew they were known as atheists as they're trying to figure out the nature of God and figure out how, oh, okay. Important definitions, a monarchy is a state of government where supreme power is, the, is in the hands of one person, emperor, commander of an army, monarch of an empire. Deism, crown of royalty, indicating supreme power. Remember deism, imperialism, pertaining to an empire and royalty. Imperial the bond. Among Turks, which you know more, and other Orientals, that means we're Orientals and we, we know the Orientals and not the general, that's all there is, a court of justice or a council, a council assembly. Not a one person in charge type thing. An emperor is head of a, a commander of an army, not necessary of a nation. Constantine himself disliked the risk to societal stability that religious disputes and controversies brought with them, preferring where possible to establish a what? Orthodoxy. One way in which Constantine used his influence over the early church councils was to seek establish a consensus over often debated and argued issues regarding the nature of God. Do you know what an orthodoxy is? An orthodoxy is a belief. This is based in a belief. Because they couldn't figure out the controversies of the nature of God. Right? So... So when he did a consensus, that's politics. He was using politics to gain consensus. So what determines one's political allegiance? What is your political allegiance? Rationality, I love it. All right. So he was politicking, right? But politics was and still is utilized today. One's political allegiance is determined by the nationality. So when you declare your nationality, you, you declare your political allegiance. I'm sorry. I didn't know. To... Uh, lead it to your national family slash government, where one says they domicile determines their civil liberties. So be very careful not to be domiciled incorrectly. Let's get back to orthodoxy. I'm not even going to give the definition. But it's a I mean, I'm going to do one. Sound and opinion of doctrine in religious doctrine has specifically holding the Christian faith as formulated in the great church creeds and confession. Orthodoxy is simply a opinion. And then I thought, uh, I looked up for it because it means a piece of, a morsel, left at meal, scraps and bit. It's an opinion. All of this fuss over an opinion? You're kidding me. And then, even in the definition of words, it says it's composed of several varieties of national churches, nearly all recognized the headship of the patriarch of Constantinople. Okay, let me go move on. So I'm gonna I, 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 I brought this up because everybody knows that rabbi is what they call Yahshua even in the in the bibliotheory text, the Bible, right? But rabbi is a Jewish title, so it's not a Christian one, right? So I don't have to go through that. And then I, I had this for people who didn't know, so I took stuff out of the uh, bibliotheory text and put it in here just to show that it's four or five, but I'm gonna skip that. You can get them yourself, look it up. I will say this, Constantine honored the sun. In 321, Constantine instructed that Christians and non-Christians should be united in observing the venerable day of the sun. How many people knew that? How many people knew that? Never, never about that. No. Okay. Or Sunday, referring to the sun worship furthermore, and long after his often alleged conversion to Christianity, Constantine's coinage, his coins continued to carry what? The symbols of the sun. Even after the pagan gods, which will be more, because they call pagans, all right, had disappeared from the coinage. Christian symbols appeared only as Constantine's personal stuff. The child wrote between his hands, one his lateral, but never on the coin itself. Even when Constantine dedicated the new capital of Constantinople, which became the seat of Byzantine Christianity for a millennium, he did so wearing the Apollonian sun raid diadem. No Christian symbols were present at this dedication because it didn't make sense. It was a newly formed government that you think is a religion. Let me show you how it became. When did the Christian symbol come? After gaining victory in the Battle of the Milvian Bridge in 312, this is not even not 325 yet, a triumphal arch, the Arch of Constantine, was built at 315 to celebrate his triumph. 
at and from the arts are any depictions of Christian symbolism. So what is and when did the Christian symbols begin? Right? It didn't exist. Bam, right there. In this side we conquer. That's what their mission is. And he says, and I don't need to read it all, he said that he was visited by a dream that gave him that depiction. You hear that? That's the first Christian thing. Look at it. It's a cross through a crown. Come on now. And it says, in my signal basis, in this side we conquer. So they're, they're letting you know that they're conquering. So-called religion, conquering, killing. Am I right? Get it? So I don't need to read all of that because uh, I'm going to skip through. But I did show some of these signs here. Here, here it is again in our signals. You might see this at the church, but you might not know what it means. But there it is. This is a ring or something. And then I brought this up and I brought it up again. When you go into these private Masonic temples, because that's what a lot of the boys clubs are, you know, but the Masonic temples and, 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 and uh, other missions, you know, it's kind of crazy. But it's all right to have a club and all. But they have three titles on the altar. One represents the sun. The other one represents the moon. And the other one represents the great grand 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 master chief. That's just a grand grand master or grand chief in the temple because they, they operate the same way, which is wrong. So you got the sun, the moon, and all of a sudden the man is like he's greater than he's just beneath the sun and the moon. That that's crazy. So you got those three on the altar. That's crazy. You got the sun and the moon that's something. How does how does he represent them of another planet before it's representing them you? That's vanity. That's not right. That's bull. I'm not even going to say it should be Venus. I'm not going to say it because I don't want to cause no prejudices because people get wrong when we talk about the uh, respect of women or greater respect. They think that it's putting men down. It's not. Or putting men down. It's not. But it's like really a problem. So I tried to stop discussing it so to hurt nobody's feelings because I said enough of it anyway. But look at this. Here's proof right there. There's some egotistical, silly people. How you gonna have a representative of the sun, a representative of the moon, and then there's your ass right there, like you, you know, and you the grandmaster, you know, come and do what I say and all that crap. That's the problem. I just told you what religion was. It's our self law and master. But there it is. I ain't got to prove it. It's like that. So, uh, and it's craziness. But it's patriarch. And I told you that the place, we know what it is. Genesis 1 and Genesis 6. And by the way, in Genesis 1, you didn't. You, you you let every seed bearing tree to be your food, and, right? Is there, am I right? It says Genesis was somewhere um, Genesis two came in meat me eaters because that's when Adam was established to work on the slave or to work the field, and then came in meat eaters. You not uh, descendants of Adam and Eve. You cannot say that because that's not true. So you can't be descendants of both. So here we go. The conquer and the persecution. The con- to conquer was the mission done in the name of Jesus, Lord and Savior. Now later on, this is just a, later on around 1500, the Protestants, remember they rose up against the Catholics because they started fighting each other. You got to understand that these fights were not yours. They were not yours. They still weren't yours. They weren't even yours during the Civil War and the Revolutionary. Not really. They were between, as my son was explaining on the way up, and he's going to be doing a nice presentation on there between the Confederates and the Union states. You got to see yourself like this over top of that. You understand? And the Confederates and the Union, my Europeans fighting each other. You're not that. That's not you. Now, there's a few wars that have been in it had already been denationalized and went from one venue to the next or one jersey to the next. But if you don't see yourself above all of that, you're done. And I say above it, I don't mean above it because you're greater than, but yes, you are. But I mean, it had nothing to do with you. It was them being slaves coming out of slavery. They had nothing to do with you. But you didn't know they were ever slaves, so how could you have known that? And that's why they don't want you questioning anything to find out. So anyway, now with this, let me see. Uh, persecution proof. Nicodemus and 302 reserve, resolved to suppress Christianity throughout the empire. The Cathedral of Nicom- Nicomedia, excuse me, was um, demolished February 24, 303. We haven't gotten to 325 yet. This is the fight they're getting just to be able. 
uh, an edict was issued to tear down the churches to the foundations and to destroy the sacred structures by fire and commanding also that those who were in honorable stations should be degraded if they persevered in their adherence to Christianity. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, huh. They may have to act like they're the big homo dugger and everything. And the, no, their slaves turn to come out. You'll see. Edict of Milan was very important to them. You'll see. Here's some more. Oh, no, I'm not even going to go there. Okay. Why is they started fighting each other? One of them was about the Trinity. The Trinity, okay, I want you to understand the Trinity was about whether God, Jesus, Jesus, not God, just appeared, and it's called homo yushis. The three persons are distinct, yet are one substance, essence, or nature. Homo usian, or homo usian. Homo usian, like fusion. Like the fusion of the man. Like he disappeared. But you know he came out of the womb of Mary, right? So why is this a discussion? You see what I'm saying? But it is, because they're patriarchal. That's why. So this is where it comes from. Homo and all the homo crap that comes with it. Not like Nothing against anybody because they think that the you know just disappeared. You understand what I'm saying? Homo Yusha, this is very real. They fought each other over this idea. It's called the um, it was called the uh, uh um, Homo Yusha. They called it something else too. So these are the things I want you to understand that they were arguing about. Um, that they were arguing about like uh, uh, virgin monarchy holding that the Godhead is a single being that's rich only to suspect in the modes or operations. Christian doctrine of the Trinity. I mean, this is, this is, you got to look it up. This is what they were literally arguing about. Do you understand? And everybody knows that he came out of the womb of Mary who was uh, administered to, uh, and, 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 you know, to, uh, they say she was the virgin, but pure, bright Jewish woman, et cetera, like that. But I already know. I'm not going to get into whatever I'll happen with that because I'm not. But, so this is what they argued with and fought each other and killed each other and fought each other and killed each other over, okay? And uh, here's the milestone. Uh, I think I'm missing something. Milestone of Christian religion, Constantine and Lucinus Augustus, Lucinus Augustus. Constantine was the first emperor to stop Christian persecutions and to legalize Christianity. How about that? along with all other religions and cults in the Roman Empire. Christians were persecuted. Property was confiscated. Buildings were burned down. The victory battle at Milvian Bridge is what really brought out what is called the Edict of Milan. Guess what that is? The Edict of Milan, religious freedom. In February 313, Constantine met with Lactinius in Milan, where they developed the Edict of Milan, the edict stated that Christians should be allowed to do what? To follow the faith without oppression. This removed penalties for professing Christianity. Hear me out. When I told you about the signal that came for the Christians that sign in hot signus Vincent, we, in this time we conquer, he got that vision at, uh, um, um, uh, that vision the night before the battle with Milby and Bridge that he was told that that's the, that's the sign. And I should have read one of them because it says it comes from the light rays of the sun. They saw it from the light rays of the sun. I mean, they misinterpreted it, but whatever, right? So uh, so they had to create a symbol because Christianity was new, obviously. It was brand new because they were coming up and trying to get to now. Check it out. The battle with Ruby and Bridge is the only battle that they kind of won between each other, though. All right? Because the Imperials were more, they didn't have time for that stuff. It's like, oh, uh, there was some fights, but, you know. They're fighting between each other to get their own religion. So the Edict of Milan is a milestone, let me tell you. It's a milestone because it's the Edict of Milan said, okay, we're going to remove any kind of peaceful profession. The Christians can be allowed to follow the faith without oppression. Major. You get it? Major right here. But they're not returning no favors. Because <laughs> it's in the nature of the big. Listen, slaves are slaves. All they know is slavery. Don't get surprised. Slavery has no color. It has no, uh, 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 it's an industry. And as soon as we get that straight and stop acting like we're the only person that ever suffered slavery, slavery really a much better slavery. Anyway, 
So they're allowed to do that. Now what happens? The night thing counts as 325. This happened in um, 313, meeting of Milan. They're still fighting now. All right. The night thing counts as 325 AD was the first meeting of the Christian religion. They met to determine the tenets of the Christian church, particularly the celebration. What did I tell you to remember? Easter. What is a council or ecumenical council? It's a council of elders. It's a council of church council. And church history, a general council or assembly of prelates and divines representing the whole church as in the council of knights. So first you had to have the council of people, that's the politicians, that believed in what you believed in in order for you to have the, you know, the first meeting, uh, any council. So their first council was called the um, uh, uh, Council of Knights or Nicaea. That's theirs. Now, while they're having their first, there's an economic council having said Darby Wood, seven of them went down. You can see that picture. They, they're, they're brown skinned people right there. They're not having a church council for, say, for Christianity. They mock the, they mock the, uh, mock off of the council. Do you, you follow? So their council that they made first time, the council was nice, first meeting. We didn't have thousands of them. Thousands of council, elder councils, that's where all that comes from. That's really, but so this is what they did, and that's what the council might did. So now I'm not even going to go through this because I want to move on. That's Ezekiel's will, the straws you will. I want to get to something else. Uh, according to Christian writers, Constantine, Constantine was over 40 when he finally declared himself a Christian. Writing to Christians to make clear that he believes he owes his successes to the protection of the Christian high God alone. Throughout his rule, Constantine supported the churches financially, but best built by Siglius, granted privileges to clergy, um, exempt him from, like, for example, exempt him from taxes, promoted Christians to high office, and returned property confiscated during the Diocletianic persecution. His most famous building projects include the Church of the Holy Sepulchre and Old St. Peter's and Old St. Peter's particularly. I just wanted to show you this. These definitely look like Moors, and they cut the nose off right there. That bad on that one. You see that? Mm-hmm. All right. St. Peter's by Siglia. We already know that the St. Peter's by Siglia has the Moors dead on it, even cutting through the lawn. You see that? Yeah. Right? And the Pope carries it. It's cutting to the lawn. There's the head. There's the bed. There's the clam. There's the dip right here. I think I made a one of it. And the Pope sits up under it. He came to New York. Y'all didn't even notice that. <laughs> That's the game. But he did. In 2006, I think it was. All right? Y'all seen that, right? It's on the site. So these people who are modern Europeans and Pope, they don't question who we are. But we argue over who we are. Well done. So, St. Maurice, I wanted to show you this is the actual picture of St. How many people have seen this? Okay. This is actually St. Maurice's statue. He's a brother. Y'all can see that, right? That's clear. And uh, the lamp is lifting. He's St. Maurice. It, this this right here, this statue is in the Cathedral of Mont. Magdeburg, Magdeburg, Germany, next to the grave of Otto, the first Holy Roman Empire. I want you to make sure there's a difference between the Roman Empire and the Holy Roman Empire. We're just proving this to you right now. The cathedral is actually named Cathedral of St. Maurice and Mar- Anne Maurice after St. Maurice and St. Catherine of Alexander. The sculpture was created around 1250, created at 1250. 1250 it was created, and look how they write. Y'all got to know. And it's considered to be the first realistic depiction of an ethnic which is in Europe, don't even make sense. But that's how they'll write it, because they're telling you about it. Unfortunately, the figure is no longer complete and misses the lower legs and an item in the right hand, which is probably his lamp. So, Holy Roman Empire, more Roman Empire, modern European. So we say to you, stop praying to the vicars, because the vicar means to substitute God while they pray to you, because right up here, that's that's you. They call it the Black Madonna. A vicar means a substitute. That's what we say saying now. Persecution of the Christians go a little further here. Um, uh, three, and I'm only showing you this to show you. Uh, it's really interesting how this is going because you're looking at, wait a minute, what time period is what? But it'll come together. 
Three further edicts, 3003 and 3004, marked successive stages. This was just more to show you that they were really persecuted because nobody knows that it's seen. So these, and this could have been in, in the other location. I was looking for it, so I'm just going to read it. Mark successive stages in the severity of the persecution. The first ordering that the bishops, the presbyters, and deacons should be imprisoned. The second, that they should be tortured and compelled by every means to sacrifice. The third, including the laity as well as the clergy, the atrocious cruelty with which edicts were enforced and the vast numbers of those who suffered for the faith are attested by Eusebius and the acts of the martyrs. We read even of the massacre of the whole population of a town because they declared themselves Christian. Christian significance is right. This is what we've been telling you for years. In 325, uh, Constantine summoned the Council of Nicaea, effectively the first ecumenical council, because Nicaea is most known for dealing with our Arianism. And Arianism is dealing with the Trinity thing, too, by the way. And and for the instituting the Nicene Creed called Homo Eusian and the Trinity. That's what that is. This is what they are, you know. But Constantine enforced the prohibition of the first council of Nicaea against what? Celebrating the Lord's Supper on the day before the Jewish Passover. It was called quarto decimanism. Quarto meaning quarter means among four quarters. Uh, or the Easter controversy. This marks a definite break of Christianity from the tradition. All right? Also, the Roman Julian calendar. From then on, the Roman Julian calendar, a solar calendar, was given precedence over the lunar solar, which we call Hebrew calendar, among the Christian churches of the Roman Empire. This is where we talk about changing the calendar as well. This is it. And also, just so you're not confused, we say to you, the Jews are us, right? You know, when they say Jews, they talk about, okay, what they did is they used, those are the infiltrators that they used to murder Yahshua. But they weren't really you. They're standing around right now, some of them. No different. It should just keep repeating itself because of lack of knowledge of what it is and who is what. So, uh, so this is where they're telling you they went off of the lunar, the, the lunar calendar, right? Which is in harmony with the moon and you know the womb as well, and the womb as well. Because if you're not matriarchy, because you're going into a patriarchy religion, then you you're not gonna go by the moon no more. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're not gonna do that because that's right. Now, also, check this out. Here's proof for you. Here's proof. More proof, excuse me. Constantine did make a new law. Once they got together, it was addressed to the rules to the Jews. What to do what? Own what? Christian slaves or the Texas their slaves. What's that but an admission that they were slaves? Am I right or wrong? Is that to get you to think it or what? This is why they don't want you to go searching for this. All I was doing was searching up Constantine to see, you know, I couldn't, uh, it's crazy. All right, so that's one of the things he did, but check it. He also left the sun on the coins for a while, which is another proof. Because they didn't have any Christian symbols, remember? They didn't stop putting their face on the coins yet. Right? The only symbol was the sun red, the sun. Constantine's monetary policy were closely associated with his religious ones in that increased minting was associated with measures of confiscation between 331 and 336 because now they, 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 they don't want their right to their Christianity at 325, right? Okay, their first meeting. So now what do they start doing? Increasing minting was associated with measures of confiscating it of all the gold, the silver, the bronze, statues from pagan temples who were declared as imperial property. I thought pagans were, you know, some low life stuff. They had the imperial property. There it is right there. You got to learn how to comprehensively read, uh, okay? Imperial property and as such as monetary assets. So they assigned two imperial commissioners for each province who had the task of getting all of the statues and having them melded for immediate minting with the exception of a number of bronze statues who were used as public monuments for the beautification of the new capital in Constantinople. Do you see? Do you see how you have to, hold on, read. 
One more thing, I think. Oh, no, I don't want to read that. Now we're going to get to, and I'm going to, I just, I mean, I was blown away when I read the Christian decree. And so will you be. And there's more of a reason why well, people got to stop talking about the fatality that, you know, the prophet made them and that's the fatality. Christian decree. When we, Constantine and Lassenia, afterwards, had an interview at Milan and conferred together with respect to the good and security of the Commonwealth, it seems to us that amongst those things that are profitable to mankind in general, the reverence paid to the divinity merited our first and chief attention. And that it was proper that the Christians and all of us should have liberty to follow that mode of religion, which to each of them appeared best. So that that God, so that that God, who was seated in heaven, might be benign and perpetuous to us and to everyone, bring the last line under our government. Wait, guess what? Is that Christianity or government? Is Christianity government? Oh, let's finish. There's only two parts, three parts. When I, Constantine Augustus, and I, Lucinius Augustus, came under favorable auspices to Milan, remember what Milan was? Favorable auspices to Milan. Milan gave them their, that was a milestone, that's where they got the right to practice their own religious freedom. I told you where I get them all for it's over. That's why you got to be real careful of who you're dealing with today. You're not dealing with them. All right. So, so, favorable, I can't be paying on the favorable auspices in Milan. Uh, da, 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 where, where am I? Okay. To Milan, it took under consideration everything which pertains to the commonwealth and posterity. We resolved, among other things, or rather, first of all, to make such decrees as seemed in many respects for the benefit of everyone, namely, such as to preserve reverence and piety towards the deity. Really? So we resolved that is to grant wealth to the Christians and to all men freedom to follow the religion, which they do. So now they're making that decision, right? Okay. To choose that whatever heavenly divinity exists may be perpetuous to us as well. The men boss. Are they talking about only if you're under their government? I don't care. You think you're free and you don't choose your big or whatever. No. It's a government. It's not a religion, but it is, but it's not. It's a government. Secondly, which is why you can't be a part of it. Secondly. Thirdly and lastly, this will take you home if you don't get it. If you don't get so far that this is a, a municipality, which is a Roman venue, which is why the prophet told you Christianity started in Rome, maybe this will get it to you. Maybe this will get it to you. It says, whereas we have learned that certain ecclesiastics, check this out, ecclesiastics and others devoting their services to the church have been compelled by men of different religions to the performance of lustral sacrifices we decree by this nation and that, if any person should suppose that those who devote their services to the most sacred law may be forced to the ritual of an alien superstition, they just came out of being an alien superstition. Don't worry about it. This is how they work. He shall be what? Beaten publicly with clubs, right? Provided what? That his what? Legal status. So permit. If, however, the consideration of his honorable rank protects him from such an outrage of being beaten publicly, that's what they're saying, he shall sustain the penalty of a very heavy fine. That means give it some money. That's the fine you still get to today. All right? And... Where shall they be vindicated to? The municipality. And you wonder why they keep yanking you up and charging you fine? Because that's what they do. So they're a municipality, right? Some people don't believe that a municipality is a Roman venue. Uh, and don't worry about that legal status thing because, you know what, you could never be, ever, 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 ever be a member of the Christian Church, because it's a government. 
You just can't. I know mama is and papa is and somebody's beating and all that kind of stuff. You know, but I'm just telling you. This is like, this is what they didn't want you to know. But, you know, not only that, uh, the, 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 when they talk about the, um, the legal status, you have to know what your legal status is, but it's not that. Like, in other words, some people say, we're going to go to the municipalities and we're going to declare our nationality there and they're going to steal it and all that. Hell no. You might go there and make a lawful notice. And like I said earlier, well, it needs to make a lawful notice collectively. Mm-hmm. But you don't go there and have them authenticate, index, register, and say you are a citizen of the U.S.A. and the municipal and the county clerk book. You don't do that because they are a government and not your family. You can't be under them. You're giving them numbers. Okay, so now I'm showing you that the municipality is a Roman venue. There it is, municipal. An inhabitant of a municipal or town possessing the right of Roman citizenship. Done. Therefore, on the bottom, that's right out of black thought, you can get that yourself. Any employee thereof are employees of the said municipal corporation. Therefore, a policeman is an employee, a private security guard for the municipality, enforcing policy for the municipal corporation. That's what it is. Not government for you governing you. They they and they in court. They in the in the court. So you have corporate. So you have that federal versus federal. What you say? Administrative body is defined as government specifically. Governments are corporations, and as much as every government is an artificial person, an abstraction, a creature of the mind only. A government can only deal with artificial persons. The imaginary having no reality or substance cannot create. All the same parody with the real. So they turn you into as many that you're not the real. But they can't do that really except they know that you don't know. So when the babies come out or when you speak and say you know who you are, flesh and blood, they can't turn you into nothing. They're sued by assumptions because you didn't confess it. Confess it. But now it's time for everyone to confess their own. So... Here's a number. State government, they number trustees anyway with a derived authority, but authority, constitution, law of the land. <laughs> all right? Yes. Oh, no, God. Policeman's duty, what is it? And it's not the duty of the police to protect you. That job is to protect the corporation. That's really for the corporation. And to arrest the code breakers of their codes and policies. That doesn't mean that they are, are not under the law of the land or divide law, or whatever like that, but I'm just telling you. And, oh, God, whatever you do, don't pick them up, call 911, see your house, if you got a problem with your, with, with whatever, don't do that. Because they're just coming inside and, uh, okay, let's see, you call, I'll get some money on you, you call, hold that over there in that room. Yeah, let, let's get some money on them too. That's all they do, that's all they're about. That's it. Do not call that into your life. Like, and then wonder why this happened. Oh, yeah, well, you know. Why? Nah, because you called them. I know, we're supposed to have our own family that we can call. Trust, we get there. So, this is a authority for week 402. Oh, no, that's, that is uh, a case law. That's all the text. That's why it's week 402. I got to ask you, why. that's just like the one that I have for text. Is, uh, says, oh, I forgot what it is. It's so, so old. It's in the statute. All right, clear understanding as to why you must declare your nationality, which is your political allegiance and your religion. Your nationality determines your political allegiance, family, and government, or governing principles of family. Where you say you govern sound, this not determines your civil liberties. We got gotcha. you. Remind our Christian corporations and establishments that their agencies and their churches, their quasi governments, 501c, are in fact Christian corporations. I don't need to read all this, but everybody runs the Inquisition, right? And the third divina, we all know about that? Okay. Yeah, they came here and there. We know about that, so let's go to this justification of war and death, which is in not in the Inquisition divina, but if you ever looked up the uh, if you ever looked up the um, North American exploration, then it's in there. From the read it, I got it from the. Readers' conference. I have this in the Intercontinental Divina booklet that we published 
but I'm saying, it says European encounters with the new world were viewed in light of these preconceived notions to fund the new world of its churches was acceptable because it was populated by faith. This is Christian this is Christian perspective and y'all thought people talking about they include Christians. No. They no, 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 no. Okay. So it says was populated by pagans, right? Which is the natural people, because you know they found us here when they got here and they already described it. Because it was part of God's plan, they say, to kill them was right because they were thinking they be Christ and warriors. Talking about you and your mama and your family and your baby. As European powers conquered the territories of the New World, they justified wars against Native Americans and the destruction of their culture as a fulfillment of the European secular and religious vision of the New World. Secular means religious, non-secular. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, secular and non-secular. One is business and one is not. So they, this is what they believe, man. I don't care how you cut it. And you want to be, you talk about you're, you're a Christian? And you don't know that they conquer and kill? Because of this, because, because you don't want to believe in their religion when they fight to get their religion? To get their religious freedom and now all of a sudden because you don't believe in what they believe in, they can kill you? This is some sick stuff. Am, 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 am I right? So now when you wonder what's wrong with the world, what's wrong with this thing, now you know. So, um, I, that's all part of the Christian interconcerted being. I'm not going to read all that because it's in the book. But let us look at this Christian conquest mindset. We found, we found what did they say? Did they say they found Indians? Huh? Just, just give me a second. Because this is going dead on me. I don't know why it's supposed to last for six hours. Oh, what time is it? Time to go. All right. So my main thing is maybe we can finish this another time. Um so we're going to have to close out, but let me just say this. Thank you. Let me just say this. I'm going back on this right here. I can't deal with that. Uh, these are the five principles of conquer, colonize, migrate, enslave, and annex. And you go look at the five principles of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. And this is that Ellis Island that you all may have seen, and you'll see clearly that they are exactly the opposite of that. I do want to say this one thing. It's only the first two because I want people to stop calling themselves Indians. You notice that they, when they came over here, they didn't call you Indians. They didn't find Indians. They found natives, which were you. Number one, despite the myth that North America lay empty and available for the taking, European explorers encountered over 200 different cultures. That's all those people say, I'm Cherokee, I'm this, I'm called that. So the family appellation, okay? whose ancestors had lived here how long on this continent for how long? Thousands of years. Through armed conflict, Europeans seized the land and claimed it for the settlement. This often entailed enslaving, subjugating, or removing native reservations against their will. Disease was an unintended instrument of conquest. Millions of Native Americans died from foreign viruses to which they had no resistance. Do they call Native Americans or Indians? Native Americans. Definition of Native Americans, Aboriginal or one of the various copper-colored natives found on the American continent by the Europeans. This is the original application of the name. Please keep that in mind, all right? So if you keep that in mind, then the second leg, and this is where we're going to end on this one, colonization. So the first one was conquer for them, but love for us. Love and conquer, they are the absolute reverse, aren't they? Truth. Colonization has no truth because when you colonize, you're on top of somebody else's national land. So that ain't true. You hear what I'm saying? You got to dig it, man. You got to dig into it. So European nations colonized in America to exploit. Look at the reason why. Pay attention to this one. To exploit natural resources, engage in commerce. And here we are today doing all that commerce stuff, right? Create new communities and convert native people to Christianity. Do you see that? Spain, France, Holland, England, and other Euro powers claim different parts of what would become what? What would become the United States. You are not a member of the United States. 
what would become the United States, Native Americans, uh, uh, they battled one another as well as Native Americans, didn't say Indian, all right, to gain dominance and control trade and territory. I'm going to have to stop at that because after that, that's when they migrated and brought their family over and said, come on over, NEM, let's, let's do this thing. We didn't already conquer. We migrated, and now we are well, colonizing. Now, if y'all come on over, we can do this, right? So with that being said, I will say one last thing. Excuse me, because I, I, I can't I can't go through the whole thing. The fifth leg. Everybody knows they we Europeans were slaves, all the books are out. We're reading one every um off Wednesday now. And um I do want you to know that Dominion is Dominion. Dominion is spiritual on the Dominion is spiritual ownership and domination is forced ownership. You mean with Hillary Clinton? That? That? And that's in the Ben Franklin room, right. This is where 2012, when she admitted the First Nation to recognize her, was Morocco. In, she qualified it, 1787. So don't let no people tell you Morocco Kingdom, because that's not what you're talking about. Talking about the treaty. This is about Moors and Christian powers, first navigators and patriarchs. Okay, and so that's where that's where it's very very important. And after that, you she ain't even on the scene no more. <laughs> oh, this is my guys. This would be the empire, and that would be the kingdom. So you also also got to know that too. Be a lot of people say, "Oh, Morocco, you're yeah, the kingdom," and a whole bunch of people about five, six, seven years ago fled over and, and naturalized or made citizenship in Morocco, the kingdom, because they I don't know what happened to them. Maybe they'll pull them over. I don't. Um, this is the last thing. Oh. This is chapter 26, I'm sorry, 46 of the Circle 7 Holy Quran. I will not read it because we don't have time. But if you read the Circle 7 Holy Quran, it says the foundation of Christianity began where? In Rome. The Roman nation founded the first church of whom crucified Jesus of Nazareth for seeking to redeem his people from under the Roman the Roman yoke and law. How are you gonna worship somebody to kill you worship Jesus and and you suppose it, supposedly that's what you call this Yahshua, right? And you know, the Christians that you're dealing with are the ones who killed them. What the heaven said that she's wrong? See, so that's why that first statement goes there. So then you go and look that up and you, now you understand why he said that. So it's chapter 46, everybody can read it for themselves because I think people should read for themselves and I don't have the time. I do want to say that this is the last, this is the lion laying down with the lamb. Can y'all see that the lion and the lamb sort of, you know, artsy? Yeah. That's the last part of my mom, mother, peace and grace be upon her, maybe some years ago, gave me, um, and she signed it handwritten for, I think it was my birthday. I, I got it framed in a thing. And, and it said that. She has a little strength, but I got it, man. And so that's the last part that she brought me. So I decided I was going to put it on here before she passed on and make it the last thing. The lion shall lay down with you. This is this. You want to know what I mean? All right. <laughs> then we got to close. I know. Um, The lamb and the lion, the lamb has represented the poor people and the lion has represented the rich, right? So um, these days right now, we all have to worship under our own vine and fig tree after the principles of the holy and divine laws of your own foremothers and forefathers. You just have to. All nations of the earth in these modern days are seeking peace, but there is but one true and divine way that peace may be obtained in these days, and it is through love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. And being taught in university to all nations in all lands. Now, in here, I didn't read it all, but it says the lion in the land, then the lion in the land will lay down uh, in peace. To read it, and then you'll understand what it is. All right? They say that in churches all the time. The lion in the land, the lion shall lay down with the lamb. Meaning peace, peace. That means the lion shall lay down and will not eat the lamb. All right. <laughs> um, with that being said, um, I thought there was one other thing, but I don't uh, about what it was. 
I covered it all. I hope you enjoyed the presentation this evening. Does it give you a better understanding of why they want you to not question the word of, quote, God? I am not trying to make people turn into or teach Christianity. I'm trying to teach you what it is so you can walk securely away or with or however you want to do with it. So you know that it is the government. When they said that the municipality will be the ones that get the vindication and finance, that's what they do today. And it's important that you know that because you cannot say that Prophet Nubadrali created a municipality for that. That did not happen. You cannot, you have to understand that Christianity is a government. shows you the difference. You can't be a part of that. You just got to be who you are and your family. Islam. So we're going to do an invocation out. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Father of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Allah is my protector, my guide, and my salvation. By night and by day. Who is holy prophet? Who I lose? It's one. I'm right. Oh, your book, yes, sir. Go get your book. You may. And thank you so much for it. Uh, I want to thank you for bringing us that up.
Hold on a moment, y'all. Hold on a moment, y'all. Um, let me mute myself because I don't think she realizes that it's a little rough. Wake up, everybody, no more sleeping in bed. No more back to thinking, time for thinking ahead. 